trim mode. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. We go into the precision editor, which is not the most precise part of the program. But nonetheless, it's called the precision editor. And you may have noticed that I have not used skimming at all. I am not a fan of skimming because skimming is imprecise and I am into precision because I'm an editor and I like things to be on the frame I want, not three frames over because that's where my cursor happened to be when I performed the edit. <laughs> Unfortunately, skimming is disabled. When you turn off that skimming button, it doesn't turn it off for the blade tool, the range select tool, or the trim tool. So if you're using any of those tools, skimming's always on, like it or not. Um, and this is related to trimming. Big, or trim, the precision editor rather, mu you must have skimming turned on to make any use of it uh, because the only way it really works is when skimming is on, you can, now you see I roll my cursor over the top, this is my outgoing shot, and now I can play Run. and see. No. Actually, I think I've broken. And find a new frame where I want that, you know, the edit to go, you know, or I can go down here to the bottom and just rolling over it really nicely changes. So if I'm down here in the bottom, I can use my JKL, find the new frame where I want That's the edit to go. And, uh, you know, and then you would, you would want to uh, move your edit to that point. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, you want to roll, you just grab this bar in the middle, does a nice little roll. You want to do a ripple, you can grab either the top or the bottom. Oh, actually, you can do it two ways. You can literally grab the, uh, the yellow bar and trim, by, and they move the edit, which is kind of intuitive, or you can grab the footage underneath it and slide the footage under the edit, which is kind of cool too. And they, they both do the same thing, they just work in opposite directions. If it sounds weird, it makes sense when you're doing it. When you, when you drag it, it feels right. Uh, you can choose though, you have to choose whether to drag the footage under the edit or to drag the edit itself. And you see the difference on the screen there. Um, nonetheless, you're basically doing a simple ripple. Uh, so here's the thing, if you want to use JKNL, and you know, you see, you, you're, uh, I'm, I'm, my cursor's over the top. I press L to go no, forward. Actually, I find the frame where I want to edit. Boom! I hit K. No dynamic trimming. And not only that, if I want to now, I want to confirm the edit at that point. I can't press I or O. That doesn't work. I have to click on that frame. You see that white line? That's where I have to click. Only as soon as I move my mouse, it goes away. <laughs> so. You, it's fun. It's kind of it's like a game. It's 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 actually more, one of the more fun games. You move it. You, you get the frame. You're like, play to right there. Okay, good. And then wait, where was it? Was it there? I think it was there. One more time. I'll just back it up and do it one more time. Okay, ready? Actually. And there, boom. And I move. Oh wait, damn. But I, anyway, it's fun. It's not as addictive as Angry Birds, but almost. So, it's, and it's built in. It comes for free. So you can use it for that. Um, I, I'm, being, I'm being a little bit snotty, but it is really unfortunate because we, you, uh, trim ring is a fundamental part of editing and using that JKL to find that, you want to be able to find that frame while you're playing. It's the way we work, it does not work. The way, the way this is intended for you to work is to use skimmer. And so you skim over and if I turn on audio skimming, we can hear the sound <coughs> and I can find <laughs> Sorry. I, I think that's where I want it to go, right? I'm sure that's right. And I click and it moves the edit. Just by clicking it moves the edit. And that's really cool because you can just you know, skim over, click, and it moves the edit. Okay, go. S you know, skim over, click, and it moves the edit. It's fun. It's cool. It looks good. It demos great. That's all. Anyway, uh, that's precision trimming. Uh, I, there may be more. I, I mean, there may be a better way to do it, but I haven't figured it out yet. Okay. Can you say, yes, you can. In fact, that's what Steven said. He said he just goes over, he sets a marker, and then he trims to the marker. And maybe that's the workaround. Maybe that's legitimately the workaround. Okay, one last thing I want to show you, which yeah, is really we fun. Gotta, we've got to wrap up. All right, so. all right, I'm, I'm done. Uh, I didn't get to talk about auditions. All right, uh, top and tails. This is a really nice thing. Because all that yellow bar stuff that it's always adding more crap to your timeline than you want, they figure a way to solve that, which is that at any point you can, oh, I don't want to do that. At any point, if your playhead is over a frame and you want to move the end point to that frame, there's a nice shortcut that will do right just that, right? Or you can do the end. So if I want to move the out point to that frame, I just, boom, does that. And, that, and these are called, uh, what are they called? Uh, Trim start and trim end, option bracket, left and right bracket. And they're really cool because, I'm, I'm serious, <laughs> sometimes I sound like I'm, I'm joking. No, it's, it's a really nice feature. You play, it. you stop, and just, that's my new in, option bracket, trims it just like that. And you can even do it with a selection. So if I've gone in here and I've marked it in, Base and, now, you? and I want to use that as my range, I can also do that, trim to selection. And so that left bracket, right bracket, and then uh, backslash, those three things, option, 
trim start, option trim end, option trim to selection, or um, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and that, if I do that one, let's just do that option. It, it just trims it right to that point. Really nice little feature that's new from, it was not in Final Cut 7. It's really cool, and we'll have to wait till next time or the Q&A to talk about auditions. I'll stop there. Thank you, Michael Wall.